I want to talk about the Morbius delay uh, here because there's a lot of interesting theories as to why this is. Now, we'll start with what we originally thought last night was mm -hmm. basically when we were um, we were just like we were discussing what we were going to go see for movies this week, right? Yeah. Uh, we found uh, that the site that we go to for Warehouse.com, which is like where most of the movies we go to a theater called Warehouse Ten yeah. around here. Uh, oh, that's so great. They were yes, it has reclining seats. We I've been. We, it's great. We, we mm -hmm. love the reclining Hi seats. Highly recommend Warehouse Ten if you're looking for someone to sponsor. I highly recommend this podcast. Oh, God, that would be amazing. They patron you regularly. Mm -hmm. We yes, uh, I want to go. Uh, yeah, because we were planning to go for three fifty five. Yep. For, uh, well, and we're going to. So now mm -hmm. I don't know if I gave. I, I put the update in the company Slack or in, in the podcast Slack. Yeah. Uh, yesterday. All the showtimes after the seventh were off. Like there was no showtimes or any movies being played for. So originally, what we thought was uh, COVID, uh, because they just the reinstituted, uh, they just reinstituted um, mandates here uh, where we where we live. Uh, so we're like, are, are the studios like just gonna pull a bunch of stuff? You know, or, right. or, like is this gonna be like some weird nationwide thing? I was thinking back to like when, like right before COVID happened, there was a chart of like all these CEOs that stepped down from their companies right before COVID happened. So they clearly had... They were like, I it, don't want to deal with this. Exactly. So, so they could, but they I clearly had... I tired. They had for, uh, foregone, for, you know, information that hadn't been released to the public that they were given specially that allowed them to make those decisions for themselves. There's no way that many companies, I think it was like 40 companies, mm -hmm. uh, like had their CEOs leave before, before COVID mandates or any, before the public knew about it, but definitely before government intervention was there. So I thought maybe it had to do with that. But I think now, because I checked back today and warehouse theaters back, now all the dates are back up through the 16th. Okay. So everyone here mm -hmm. was being weirdo. Um, conspiracy. conspiracy. Uh, everyone here had a tin, this is not tinfoil. This is just a regular hat, baby. Here. So, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I was the only one. I'm like, oh, come on, guys. That doesn't. That seems ridiculous. I think we're to just me. primed right now to look for like, how is my life going to be disrupted? Well, because South Park. Are yep. you familiar with their special, the COVID special? No. So the COVID special, they kind of predicted in the future there's going to be another shutdown. So yeah. and like everybody's wearing. That's um, like predicting the sun's going to come up. I mean, <laughs> exactly. come on, like. They're, well, they're running out of ideas. Yeah. I mean, you can read all the projections of like, like, I think I saw the CDC said it was going to like the uh, Omicron variant is going to peak by the end of January. So maybe like oh. using your theory of being like, oh, so like they're not showing movies because that's when most people will be sick. So it's not worth releasing because a ton of movies got delayed because yes. of um, like, what was that one with Ryan Reynolds in it? Or is that the one? Free Guy? Yeah, that was the one that came out. It was this like year. a like no, it was like yeah, maybe that was it. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't go to the movies. She's she's not. Uh, she, I'm trying. She, she uh, This is the same person who I kid you not. I when I when I uh, when I pulled the entire house about their favorite Christmas movies, she had to like took she took all day <laughs> and wrote a list and then went through a bunch of like previous lists to make sure she didn't miss any. Because she can't make anything easy. Look, I just like to make a fully informed decision, and it's difficult for me. It's actually like uh, going to a bookstore and buying books. Like, if you're going to buy a ticket to a movie, and there are five movies playing, like, I get too indecisive. I don't want to spend the money and sit and, like, spend my time at a movie that then is going to be bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I would like sure. to wait for other people to tell me how it is. And then by that yeah. point, like, you don't have the motivation to go, and none of your friends, your friends have already gone without you. And so yep. I just never see movies. It's yep. really what that You means. should just show up to the times when we see the movie i've done that a couple times with the company that mm -hmm. will like go do stuff and it's the most helpful thing if someone mm -hmm. could just decide exactly when and where yeah what make movie the decision I'm for seeing, you i'll go yeah but if i have to make a decision by myself it's like a three-day research it's like project. it'll it can be like your your new uh like your dating interview like you're like we're gonna go see a movie and then he has to pick the movie and the time and he has to make all the decisions otherwise you're like i just don't he's too indecisive yeah. for me well i like making decisions when i want to make them but i don't like making decisions that i have to make when i don't <laughs> want to make them exactly so th this article says that uh, morbius uh, pushes the release date for jared leto's marvel film it is not a marvel film it is a sony film featuring a marvel character i will correct that every time because it's very annoying 
Uh, Sony has pushed back the release date for the Marvel film Morbius, starring Academy Award winner Jared Leto. Uh, while the Columbia Pictures title was previously scheduled to open on January 28th, it is now going to hit theaters in IMAX premium large formats on April 1st, so quite a few months there. Uh, deadline here is that one factor motivating the push for with Sony's huge continuing success with Spider-Man No Way Home, which just crossed $1.4 billion <coughs> at the at the box office. <coughs> I believe, uh, and it says, uh, s- which has established itself as the highest grossing film of 2021, uh, and just in December, it released in December 17th, and it became the highest grossing movie of 2021. Uh, the Tom Holland pick has thus far grossed 1.37 billion. This article is a day old; it's it's past that now. Mm-hmm. It now looks to continue to do big business on screens previously saved for Morbius. That's one of the things. Now, I think this is actually clearly more a business decision because they didn't realize how popular this movie was going to be. Mm-hmm. So the idea is that. Since Sony released uh, Spider-Man and Morbius is also a Sony release, it'll be at the tail end of so- of the Spider-Man run, but theaters that would be dedicated to Spider-Man theoretically would be removed to, t- to make room for Morbius as yeah. it's coming out. Uh, one of the reasons that uh, uh, when we do box, o- I, I talk about the box office on Sundays uh, mm-hmm. for the Monday show, and the one of the things you have to look at is like it shows you not just how much money the the, mo- the movie made, but how many theaters it was in, what the box office drop from week to week is, and one of the things that's in that is how many theaters less will right. it be in from one week to the next. Right. So that could be a reason. Another reason, uh, from what I understand, is that th- there's timeline issues all over the place, so they want to uh, reestablish what this movie's supposed to mean within this universe, meaning that uh, Spider-Man is owned by Sony, but is being lent out to Marvel Studios mm-hmm. to use as a character, even though Sony spends $75 million, or 70, excuse me, 75% of the, production budget comes from Sony, 25% comes from Marvel, but all that really means is that Marvel characters that are not owned by Sony are in that film, meaning Doctor Strange, uh, Happy, and then who was the other one that we... And Wong. Wong. Uh, so Which yesterday, we apologize again, we forgot about Doctor Strange. That was the whole plot of the movie. Two days ago, yep. I, I think. But the, the point was that they don't need Marvel anymore, which we talked about the other day. Uh, m- the main characters other than Doctor Strange in that movie were all Sony-owned, and the timeline is now all over the place because in the trailer for Morbius, and I'm sorry if I'm being weirdly long-winded here, uh, it shows both the Sam Raimi Spider-Man on a poster, but it shows Vulture, who is a, uh, who is a, a Sony property, uh, a Sony character, but then also includes uh, references to Tom Holland in past other scenes. I think they're actually postponing to do reshoots and make a more uh, Sony-centric story and kind of push away from the Marvel mm-hmm. elements because they don't need Marvel's uh, characters anymore. It would be fascinating if they sort of just phase out anything Marvel. So they have to, I assume they pay That's, them for like the rights to the characters. No, they bought they bought the rights to, to oh, Spider-Man. So the, the characters they own, they bought years and years ago before Marvel became successful. But you were saying there's kind of a blend. Like uh, some are Marvel, still Marvel-owned and some are Sony-owned? So basically uh, Sony Marvel has the rights to use the Spider-Man character in their movies meaning like Avengers movies or if he appears in regular Marvel Studios movies but if it's a Spider-Man movie that is 75% funded by Mar- by Sony 25% by Marvel because there's other Marvel characters mm-hmm. in there and they want to cut of those profits no. um, but in general that character is not owned by Marvel anymore uh, Spider-Man is owned by Sony because back before Marvel Studios became popular Marvel uh, Comics was struggling and they had to sell the film rights to a lot of their most popular characters to be able to keep the company afloat. Oh, mm-hmm. interesting. Um, meaning yeah. that, uh, that the big one everyone remembers is Wolverine was sold to 20th Century Fox, uh, then 20th yes, Century everyone Studios. everyone remembers that. Uh, I remember that like uh, it was yesterday. People, uh, people like, uh, okay, I apologize. Not just using uh, you. Uh, like, but the, the big ones were uh, Wolverine, the Fantastic Four, uh, are there other ones? X-Men. X-Men were all sold off along with Spider-Man, uh, which is why it was made a big deal that uh, that the Avengers was able to become as successful as it was because it essentially was all B-list characters. Mm-hmm. Um, but now that it's a bigger deal, they want to... Uh, I think that Sony realizes they don't need to use the juggernaut that is Marvel anymore. They can just do their own do mm. their own thing. So I think the reshoots are in are going to be used to clear up any of those timeline and continuity errors and make it a more streamlined Sony owned uh, Sony owned picture. Yeah, um, and it makes more sense because Venom is not going to 
Tom Hall, um, not Holland, Hardy. He's not going to be in the Marvel version. So yeah, exactly. So he was. So it's going to make more sense. They'll probably work to work. Uh, they'll mm-hmm. probably work to bring Tom Hardy's Venom into that movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, rather than worry about whether he has to interact with other Marvel characters. Exactly. So, but I just thought it was interesting because a lot of this that you know, it's very easy to think that it has to do with Omicron. Because then there's another article, another article here. It says, "Does the latest Morbius release date, release date shift mean more box office delays are on the way?" That's a good question. I, I tend to believe that it's probably got more to do with the fact that they want to make this movie successful, especially with what now? This is its seventh delay. Yeah. So with the success of the previous mo- uh, of Spider-Man, why release something that is confusing to the audience, right? So uh, they want to make it their own project. Hmm. So this article is from comicbook.com and it says, on Monday, movies were hit, movie fans were hit with some surprising and disappointing news. Sony announced that the release date for Morbius had been delayed once again. Uh, and it says, if Morbius is the first film to be shifted due to Omicron, the next question is what other films are likely to get pushed as well. Again, this is all speculation, but given the, the, what Dr. Fauci has said, that uh, the new wave of the pandemic is likely to peak by the end of January, we're probably looking at films set in January and February releases uh, that, are like, that are the ones that are most likely to be delayed. That would include films like Scream, which is supposed to come out on January 14th, Jackass Forever on February 4th, Uncharted is February 11th, so most of those uh, February dates are more likely to be switched if they're worried about uh, if a lot of theaters and major markets shut down, there's no reason to put it out because it right. stifles the amount of income. And you're because just hurting your own performance. Once that movie's out, you never get a second chance at a good first impression. You mm-hmm. can't re-release it and get the same hype. Oh, and they always go back to, well, on the weekend it was released, here are the box office numbers. Yep. And you can't be like, but that was COVID. Th- but that was one of the many, lo- like... It's a marketing tool. It just tool. is what it is. It's yeah. a marketing tool. Well, and I think for the directors, I mean, you, you probably know more about this than you, but like, they're able to go for their next project and say, yeah. look, I produced, um, you know, Jackass Forever and it did this well like I deserve this much more funding from whatever like yep. from the studio who's funding their next project and the actors don't want it to be uh, to be mi- to be uh, mixed because a lot of their revenue or a lot of their income comes off of uh, performance uh, bonuses mm. meaning that a movie does well uh, Scarlett Johansson just won a lawsuit with Disney over uh, they released Black Widow in March and March or April and that movie she had a like I think it was like uh, another 50 million on the line that had to do with how well it did at the box office, mm-hmm. but they released the movie on Disney Plus as well. So it stifles the box office by releasing it in two markets and then they get to not pay her for that right. even though it was in the contract and she won that lawsuit. They did settled she, they settled the with terms? her in court. Like did they say that because it had performed well on Disney Plus she was just as entitled or did they just settle? No, they settled because they feel it, bre- it breached contract because it was supposed to be a theatrical release only and then they changed uh, mm-hmm. it because uh, of covid uh, restrictions. Mm-hmm. Um, and the day and date release model has proven to be a pretty big failure. Like Matrix uh, is already like bottomed out it's going to lose like 200 million dollars and that's because one nobody wanted a new matrix movie but two you lose a lot of viewers by people who just stay home and watch it on disney plus or on on hbo max also the moment that video comes out on any streaming service a clean cut perfectly done pirated copy is immediately online and a lot of people just won't you know just don't even want to pay for hbo max so you know well again we never don't sail the high seas. Never sail the high seas. You're not a pirate. I'm not a pirate. I don't think Hannah Claire knows what we're talking about here. I understand what okay. pirating <laughs> is. I, I get you. Well, it's, it's a Pirate Bay reference. Look, look uh, I don't understand movies, but I, I can understand wordplay. But I yeah. know. She's like, I, I can wordplay with just the Just make sure you just don't get scurvy on, on the way. Exactly. Mm-hmm. No scurvy are... <laughs> Scoby R. I, exactly. Uh, so I, I think what they're doing here is very smart. I don't know how much this is going to. It, it'll be interesting to see if any other movies get moved. Uh, Morbius has a lot more to lose, so that one probably makes the most sense. Scream. I, th- I bet you they keep Scream at the date it's at, mm-hmm. and I bet you they keep Jack. Uh, there's no reason to move Jackass forever. That movie's not going to be expected to make like a ton of money. Uncharted. I could see them moving. Yeah, because because Tom Holland is such a draw. Mm -hmm. I wonder too. You know, should the variant? You know, things shift all the time and policy change. Like, if those markets don't shut down, who's going to be sort of the last one? Yeah, to pull their cards off the table. Uh, They don't. I mean, just as like they don't want to have a movie go out when nothing is open, they don't want to not have something in the theaters if people are there. 
if if major markets don't close and everyone else has pulled their stuff jackass forever may do extremely well because there's nothing else to go see yep that's that's a real possibility uh another thing is like it depends on the market right mm-hmm. so california and new york you're you're always risking shutdowns there mm-hmm. but they're major movie markets mm-hmm. uh so they have to worry about you know say these studios get any type of like heads up notice it's like we're going to be shutting down on this date you know they're like well i don't care if you shut down in boise idaho but mm-hmm. shutting back down in in uh los angeles california you know that's going to hurt our bottom line, our mm-hmm. bottom line way more. Mm-hmm. It's also proof that whether we like to admit it or not, uh, America is still the premier box office place for yeah, Amer- for, for sure. American movies. Uh, I think I read last year that China came in second in the box office, and that was almost all on their own movies because mm-hmm. uh, they let very few American movies in per sure. year. Um, but it will be interesting to see, and we'll probably do more updates as this goes along. Uh, mm-hmm. If more movies get moved, we'll see. But I really do think it has more to do with reconnecting it uh, to the to the Sony films and getting it away from the Marvel, fi- getting Venom, uh, or I'm sorry, getting Morbius reconnected to the you know to the Sony universe and getting yeah. it away from uh, Marvel Studios. Well, so. I think people will be excited no matter what because like Morbius like as you said was moved seven times so people yep. are excited to see it no matter what. Thanks for watching this clip guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.